Welcome to Dinner by the Minute. I'm your host, Rachel Maskowitz. Here's how to cook simple, healthy, and frugal meals without losing your mind. Learn how to swap out ingredients you don't have, don't like, are allergic to, or find too expensive. You don't need specific ingredients, just a pinch of fun. Today we're making Crock-Pot Roast Beef Dinner. This is one of the simplest and most versatile dishes to prepare. It literally takes only a few minutes to make. So I lined my crock pot with tin foil because it makes it a lot easier to clean up. I'm gonna start by putting a little bit of oil in the crock pot because I don't want everything to stick to my tin foil. Next, I'm gonna add half a cup of water. Now I have carrots, onions, and potatoes, and these only need to be quartered and then laid into our crock pot. I chose red potatoes and sirloin tip roast beef because that was what was on sale this week. At this point, you're going to have to dig out a space for your roast beef. Mine is rather large. You don't need to use one that big if you don't want to. I just have a lot of mouths to feed. For our wrap, I've picked a few simple ingredients. I have minced garlic, sage, salt, pepper, and hot sauce. If you don't like it to be spicy, just omit the hot sauce. So today I'm using sirloin tip roast beef. This is quite a lean roast beef, so I'm gonna go ahead and add oil to it. Today I'm using olive oil. Just gonna pour it right on top, and I'm gonna use my hands, which I have washed thoroughly, to rub all this great oil in. We don't want this to turn out too dry. And I'm gonna take my rub that I've created here, I'm gonna put it all on top and rub it all in. Those flavors really work, and I don't really need to um, worry about how long this is gonna take. It's gonna be in the slow cooker for a long time. Those flavors will work through really well. Then I'm gonna take my roast beef. I'm gonna place it right in that crock pot, right in that hole we've made there um, for the beef. And as you've noticed, I haven't seasoned any of my vegetables. Last of all, we're gonna put the lid on and turn it to low for eight to 10 hours, or high for five to six. My beef is a little frozen, I'm going to high. All right, so we've got our little roast beef here. We wanna cut across the grain for the most tender cut of beef and whatever thickness that you prefer. Try making dinner using turnips, rutabagas, sweet potatoes, or parsnips. Use a pork roast or chicken thighs in place of roast beef. Add a cup of your favorite wine instead of water. Bon appetit and thanks for watching Dinner by the Minute.